first of all, we want to make sure that we're in the solid tab. And then here we want to go to insert and then insert a mesh. And next we want to insert this from our computer. And I'm just going to insert this box as an example, but you need to choose the file that you want to import. So you can see here that it now imports this model. And here we have the unit types. This one's in millimeters, but you can change this if you'd like. Then we've got the flip up direction and this flips the Y and the X axis. We've also got the center, which centers the mesh body on the origin of the active component, which I do actually want to do with this model just to make sure that it's centered. Then this option positions the model on the ground plane, which I also want to make sure is in place. Then you've got this button here where you can reset the defaults, but I don't want to do that. So now I click on OK and I'm just going to zoom out a bit. And the next thing we want to do is click on the mesh tab. So inside here, we want to click on prepare and we want to go to generate face groups. So now it's asking us which body face groups we want to select. And here we need to click on our model. And then in here, it's going to ask us for our type. And here we can choose between fast or accurate. So accurate is what it describes and it will make your model as accurate as it can do. And fast is going to generate it more quickly. But for this one, we want to choose accurate. And then the boundary tolerance is basically how much detail you want in your model. So the higher the number, the faster it will work it out. But then the lower it is, the more resolution you're going to have in the model. And you can also choose to preview it. But I'm OK with my selection, so I'm going to click OK on that. Next, we want to go to modify and we want to click on convert mesh, this one. So it's going to ask us to select the body again. So we select this body and now it's asking us the operation. So we can choose between parametric, which creates features in the timeline, or alternatively base feature. And it says here that the base feature does not maintain any parametric relationships. So in this case, it's best to choose parametric. Next, depending on what version of Fusion you've got, you can either choose faceted, and faceted converts the faces of the mesh body, or alternatively prismic. Prismic is a better option. For now, I'm going to click on faceted for this one. And then I'm going to click on OK. So now you can see that it's converted our body into a solid body instead of a mesh here. And we're able to start editing this as a solid body. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, then please do hit that like button and also subscribe. See you in the next one.